Hello mga bata! Kumusta? Ako ulit ang inyong science teacher, Teacher Nell. Our lesson for today is all about decantation and evaporation, techniques in separating mixtures. Our lesson for today is all about decantation and evaporation techniques in separating mixtures. The most essential learning competency for this topic is to enumerate techniques in separating mixtures such as decantation, evaporation, filtering, sieving, and using magnet. And the specific learning objectives are Describe decantation as a process of separating mixtures. Describe evaporation as a process of separating mixtures. And cite instances wherein decantation and evaporation as the process of separating mixtures used to produce products which are beneficial to the community. Get your notebook and pen and be ready to answer the next five questions. Remember, you have to submit your answers to your science teacher. Directions Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. How can you remove floating oil in water? A. By sieving B. By filtration C. By decantation D. By evaporation Number 2. Which of the following is the advantage of evaporation from decantation? First, evaporation is used for mixture of insoluble solid and liquid. Second, evaporation totally separates the solid material from liquid. Third, evaporation is easy to perform than decantation. A. First only. B. Second only. C. Third only. D. First and second only. Number 3. After deep frying of chicken, which method of separating mixture is applicable to separate the small pieces of chicken meat from oil? A. Decantation. B. Evaporation. C. Filtration. D. Sieving. Number 4. Which of the following is practical application of evaporation? First, film deposition. Second, evaporation of sweet from our body. Third, drying of clothes by hanging them out in an open area. A. First only. B. Second only. C. Third only. D. Second and third only. Number 5. Mixtures whose solid components settle down in the liquid is called blank. A. Evaporation B. Decantation C. Filtration D. Sieving The following are terms used in this lesson. Immiscible, a property where two substances liquids are not capable of combining to form a homogeneous mixture. Decantation, a separating technique of mixtures by removing a liquid layer that is free of a precipitate or the solid deposited from a solution. Evaporation, a separating technique used in homogeneous mixtures where one or more dissolves or drives off the liquid components from solid by heating the mixtures until no more liquid remains. Precipitate is an insoluble solid emerged from a liquid solution. Separation techniques are those techniques that can be used to separate mixtures of solid, liquid or gas like decanting and evaporating, etc. Let's start the lesson by doing the first activity. Directions 
Analyze the riddle below and with the help of the picture and riddle, you can guess the correct jumbled words inside the box. I am part of God's creation. Because of me, puddles disappear. I am water droplets going back into the air. What am I? Evaporation is a method used for separating a volatile component or solvent from a non-volatile component, solute, by heating the mixture. Let's evaporate. Next activity. Objective, at the end of the activity, learners should be able to explain when to use evaporation in separating mixtures. Materials, salt solution, one half glass, pan, and a burner. Procedure, watch the next video about evaporation as techniques in separating of salt solution and answer the guide questions that follow. In this activity, we shall demonstrate how to separate salt solution by the process of evaporation. We have taken a glass of water and we are going to mix a spoon of salt into that. We'll stir it till the salt fully dissolves. Now we are going to pour this salt solution in this vessel and boil it till it evaporates. As you can see, the water has evaporated, leaving behind a salt. Now the water has fully evaporated, leaving behind the salt. So in this activity we can see how to separate the salt from the salt solution by the process of evaporation. Guide questions number one What happens to salt solution after the water evaporated? Number two What was left in the pan? Number three In what other ways can we use evaporation in separating mixture? Example of evaporation Ink is a mixture of a dye and water. If some ink is heated in a dish, the water evaporated and the dye is left in the dish. Similarly, we can separate a mixture of salt and water or sugar and water by evaporation. Another example is the production of salt from sea water. Evaporation is also very useful for drying mango, squid, tobacco, plain clothes, etc. Aside from drying with the use of the sun, applying heat with the use of fire can be used as procedure of evaporating liquid particles. Evaporation is also a cooling process because it removes heat from the surrounding air. Another riddle for you to analyze. Directions. Analyze the riddle inside the picture.
the help of the picture and video, you can miss the quick jumbled word inside the box. I am used in separating two or more immiscible liquids. Once separated, it forms two layers in a container. The lighter liquid is poured off, leaving the heavier liquid behind. What am I? Keep in mind that decantation is the pouring off of a liquid from a solid or liquid mixture. The mixture is allowed to settle and the liquid is removed while preventing the solid from escaping. Let's explore another activity entitled Decantation. Materials, 2 pieces of 100 ml beakers, grains of stone, water. Procedure, watch the next video about decantation as techniques in separating of salt solution. Answer the guide questions that follow. If we leave a suspension to stand for a while, the solid will settle on the bottom. Then we can just pour out the liquid very carefully without disturbing the layer of sediment. We carefully tilt the beaker containing the solution and pour out the upper layer of the liquid down a glass rod. This operation is called decantation. We cannot obtain a pure solid by decantation. It always contains a small amount of the liquid. Guide questions number one. What made up the mixture? Number two, what happened to grains of stone and why? Number three, can the solid particles be separated from water after mixing without letting it settle at the bottom of a beaker? Why? Decanting is done to separate particulates from a liquid by allowing the solids to settle to the bottom of the mixture and pouring off the particle-free part of the liquid. <coughs> the following are some mixtures that can be decanted. Oil and water. Oil flutes on top of water. Decanting the mixture allows the oil to be poured off the water. Gasoline or kerosene and water. This mixture is an example often cited as a safety hazard. Decanting a mixture containing flammable solvents can be dangerous as the flammable material evaporates and forms dangerous fumes. Dirt and water. Muddy water can be cleared up by decanting. The soil will sink to the bottom of the tube allowing the clear water to be poured off. Wine. Sediment from the fermentation process can produce an undesirable taste. Wine is decanted to separate the wine from these sediments. Cream and milk. Cream is separated from milk by decantation. Cream rises to the top of the milk mixture and is easily skimmed off. Blood and plasma. A centrifuge is necessary for this decantation. Plasma can be removed from blood by decantation. Time for reflection. I have learned that I wish to ask my teacher about Submit your answer to your science teacher. To strengthen the concepts you have learned in this video lesson, write a poem about the process in separating liquid and solid mixtures through decantation and evaporation. Put it in manila paper and submit to your science teacher. Let us assess what you have learned in this lesson. Get your notebook and pen and try to answer the next 10 questions. Remember, you have to submit your answers to your science teacher. Directions Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Mixtures whose solid components settle down in a liquid is called blank. A. Evaporation B. Decantation C. Filtration D. Sieving Number 2. 
Which of the following is a practical application of evaporation? First, film deposition. Second, evaporation of sweet from our body. Third, drying of clothes by hanging them out in an open area. A. First only. B. Second only. C. Third only. D. Second and third only. Number three. After deep frying of chicken, which method of separating mixture is applicable to separate the small pieces of chicken meat from oil? A. Decantation B. Evaporation C. Filtration D. Sieving Number 4. Which of the following is the advantage of evaporation from decantation? First, Evaporation is used for mixture of insoluble solid and liquid. Second, evaporation totally separates the solid material from liquid. Third, evaporation is easy to perform than decantation. A. First only. B. Second only. C. Third only. D. First and second only. Number 5. How can you remove floating oil in water? A. By sieving B. By filtration C. By decantation D. By evaporation Number 6. Salt is obtained from blank A. Fresh water B. Rain water C. Sea water D. All of the above Number 7. What is an important factor needed in separating mixtures through evaporation? A. Heat B. Light C. Wind D. All of the above Number 8. Salt is dissolved in water. How can you separate the salt from the mixture? A. Filter the water B. Dispose the water C. Boil the water and let it evaporate D. None of the above. Number 9. The following mixtures can be separated through decantation except blank. A. Mixture of salt and water. B. Mixture of sand and water. C. Mixture of sugar and water. D. All of the above. Number 10. What will happen to the seawater if it is heated continuously? A. Turns into salt. B. Turns into vapor. C. Turns into water droplets. D. None of the above. Congratulations mga bata for finishing this video lesson. Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something today. Bye-bye!